Toyota Motor Philippines has just launched the updated Corolla Cross HEV here in the country and in this video, we will check out the mid-spec Toyota Corolla Cross V HEV in pearl white. Let's do this! Amongst the three variants of the Corolla Cross here in the Philippines, this mid-spec Corolla Cross VHEV has always appealed as the best value for money. You see, at 1,778,000 Philippine pesos for this pearl white trim, you get almost all of the features found in the top-spec Corolla Cross GR Sport as well as a hybrid engine. But now, the base-spec Corolla Cross G also gets the hybrid system so it makes me wonder. Is the Corolla Cross VHEV still the best value in the lineup or has the base spec G already stolen that title? But before we find out, special thanks to Toyota Pasong Tamo for providing the Corolla Cross V to do this car feature. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, let's check out the updated Corolla Cross VHEV right here. Now, for those of you who are used to Toyota Motor Philippines giving minor updates to their other models in the past, wherein there's just some small changes here and there, well, prepare to be shocked. Because this refreshed Corolla Cross HEV here is, yeah, a total departure from the previous gen or pre-facelift pre Corolla Cross. You see, we have a front fascia here that now looks more like an electric vehicle, a full electric vehicle rather than that of a regular hybrid, which this Corolla Cross is. You see, that's because we have these, these lines up here on the top of the front bumper uh, that makes it look like an electric car. And we have these honeycomb hexagonal front grille designs here, uh, which is similar to what's found in, the, yeah, in, in, in a Lexus, in fact. But it's not really a Lexus design because we don't really have a spindle grille here. That's really more of a Lexus thing. This, my friends, is still very much like a Toyota, but it looks like a Toyota full electric vehicle rather than a full hybrid. It's actually pretty good because that means that one look at this thing, especially with that blue Toyota badge, well, traffic enforcers will immediately know that you are exempted from the number coding scheme until the year 2030. Now, of course, this mid-spec V Corolla Cross gets um, full LED lighting units here. We have LED headlights, LED DRLs, and of course, LED fog lights. However, this V trim along with the GR Sport has an extra flex when it comes to the lighting units because we do have sequential turn signals here versus the regular turn signals that's found in the base spec G. Now, majority of the exterior design changes in this uh, refresh Corolla Cross can be found up front because the side profile design is practically a carryover, save for one thing. You see, we now have an HEV badge here on the front fender rather than getting the hybrid badge that was uh, found at the bottom part of the door. So that's the only change that we have here at the side. Everything else remains the same. That means that this mid-spec V-trim gets uh, power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals here. We still get the same 18-inch alloy wheels in the same design. And behind those wheels, well, we get the same mechanical bits. That means that the Corolla Cross HEV, well, VHEV, uh, gets disc brakes on all four corners. And for the suspension, it rides on MacPherson's up front and the torsion beam at the back. Now the ground clearance, of course, having the same mechanical bits, you get the same ground clearance here as before, which means it's at 140 millimeters. So yes, everything else is the same, as I said. And now we're going to the engine. I'm going to show you it's also practically a carryover from before. Now when you check out the engine found under the hood, you will see that we have the same engine here, the same gasoline hybrid engine uh, from the pre lifted Toyota Corolla Cross. That's because Toyota is well known for its reliability, so yes, they will stick with what works. Now what we have here is a 1.8 liter gasoline hybrid motor that can put out a combined output of 121 horsepower and 142 newton meters of torque. Now, Toyota Motor Philippines also said that this hybrid engine has been tuned for improved quietness, 
but I have no way of knowing for sure until I get to borrow this from them and do a proper driving review video for you guys. Now, being a full hybrid, it is also exempted from the number coding scheme until the year 2030, as I said at the start of the video, and you can also expect to get hybrid levels of fuel efficiency. Now, if it's going to push out the same fuel efficiency numbers as before, which I would not be surprised if it does, well, you can expect to get 22 kilometers per liter in the city and nearly 30 kilometers per liter on the highway. Now, the cabin of this mid spec across VH EV received a bunch of welcome upgrades, with the biggest one being the parking brake. You see, we lose the foot brake from the pre facelifted Corolla Cross, across, thank goodness, and instead we now have an electronic park brake with an auto hold function. Now, that is fantastic news because this, my friends, is a full hybrid electric vehicle, and you will definitely use that. that um, you know, electronic park brake with auto hold function quite well in a full hybrid. Now, we also received a larger um, infotainment system. Here we have a 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system, so that's a bigger uh, screen real estate there. And it also got upgraded because we now have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto functionality, which will go well with the wireless charging pad that this mid spec uh, Corolla Cross VHEV also gets. However, if you check out the, the camera here, we only have a reverse camera in the mid-spec V-trim. So if you want the 360-degree view camera image in your Corolla Cross, you will have to pony up for the top-spec GR Sport variant. Now, we also received um, yeah, a digital gauge cluster here, a 7-inch uh, digital gauge, which has all of your hybrid information. It's not fully digital, though there are some analog um, areas on, on the sides. So if you want to go for the full digital uh, version, you also have to go up to the GR Sport trim. Now, uh, another improvement here, guys, is the safety features. As you're seeing on your screen, this mid-spec Corolla Cross V also gets Toyota Safety Sense. But the Safety Sense here has been updated with all-speed cruise control and uh, it also has a stop and go function which is just Toyota saying that it is now equipped with traffic jam assist. However, I don't really know how well that all speed cruise control will work because I haven't really driven this baby yet. So yeah, I'll have to schedule a, uh, you know, a driving um, review video with Toyota Motor Philippines in order to find out how well that all speed cruise control will work. Now, other than that, um, yeah, everything else here is pretty much a carryover from the pre facelifted variant. The mid spec V trim gets black leather seats here with a power function for the driver. We also have a leather wrap steering wheel here that also adjusts for tilt and telescoping, as you can see. And uh, yes, uh, everything else in the cabin is pretty much the same in terms of design and materials. We have some soft touch materials on the middle dashboard here, some paddings on your door cards. And we also have a pair of cup holders here in the middle that is perfect for housing your locally drinks. Now this being a crossover, the Corolla Cross VHEV gets the same chunky black plastic rear bumper here along with this uh, faux rear bumper overrider. But we lose the hybrid badge and instead we get the HEV badge here similar to the one that we found in the front fender. Now when you pop open the power lift gate, yes, as you can see, this mid-spec V-trim also gets a power lift gate here. Um, once you have that open, you will see that we have 487 liters of cargo space, similar to before. And that, my friends, means that you can put a large Sky Travel luggage here. And you can also put a medium Sky Travel luggage uh, beside it. So yes, it is a decent amount of space. Now, this uh, mid-spec, um, Corolla Cross V also gets a donut spare tire here, similar to the one found in the top spec Corolla Cross GR Sport. The mid spec Corolla Cross VHEV has a good set of kit and features that helps it justify the increased asking price. The fact that it's also a Toyota with a tried and tested hybrid system further helps its cost. 
The thing is, the base trim Corolla Cross GHEV also delivers the same hybrid benefits and Toyota reliability for over a quarter of a million Philippine pesos less, making it a more attractive value for money option. So with that in mind, it seems that the base spec Corolla Cross GHEV has now taken the crown as the best value in the local Corolla Cross lineup. Thanks for watching.